There's nothing like a big, fresh, crispy salad, especially one that you've picked out of your balcony farm. Hey, Shalo here, and welcome to my curated life. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to harvest your cut and come again salad leaves. The optimal time for harvesting your salad leaves would be in the cool of the day. But I'm going to show you a method so that you can harvest your salad leaves at any time of the day. This variety only grows back three or four times and I've had so many salads out of these and it is delicious. Oh my favorite, yummy. If you would like to know how to make these grow bags, I've got a video coming up about that. They're just so good and a perfect size to put on your windowsill or your balcony. So let's harvest some salad leaves. If you separate out the leaves, you'll see right in the center a baby leaf. This is the crown and you don't want to cut it or else that cluster of leaves won't be able to keep growing. So I just take a handful and make a cut, sort of guessing where that crown is going to be. And any little leaves, I just come through and trim those up, remembering to keep the crown. Fill a bowl with water and then put some ice cubes in. Now I've got big ice cubes, but you could use lots of little ones. As long as you get the water really cold and icy. And what that does is it helps to plump up the lettuce and make it crunchy. Now I just leave that for an hour or even two hours. Then you can drain off the water and it's ready for the salad spinner. Now I'm not usually one to use a gadget that's only for one thing, but I would rather use a salad spinner than a whole lot of paper towels. Oh, how about that crunch? <laughs> so pop into a bowl and just drizzle over some olive oil. And then I've got some toasted sesame seeds here that you just sprinkle over the top. And some Himmy rock salt, of course. And delicious. So that's him. He's had a big haircut, but it's all good because he'll grow back. Watch out. Watch out, little fella. Oh, so simple, but delicious. Oh, yum. Oh, honestly, leaving it to soak for an hour or even two hours in the ice water. Oh, so good. Just makes it crunchy. Straight from the garden and into your plate. Mmm. Well, I'll see you guys next week where I'll be talking about fungus snaps. Oh, I hate those things. If you are going to be growing anything on your balcony, you will want to know about fungus snaps how to get rid of them. Have I got anything on my teeth? Nah. <laughs> See ya! Yeah, this is my favorite.